Well, some beautiful sunshine throughout the day today. Very cold this morning, though. Finally started to warm up through the afternoon with all of the sunshine that we saw today and all the way through this evening. A very nice sunset there as well. And now that sun has officially set over high point and temperatures are also dropping for us. We had a high temperature of 61. That is obviously no longer the temperature outside since that sun has gone down 49 in Greensboro right now. 49 in high point 48 in Winston Salem. The mountains are seeing temperatures in the 30s right now and then low 50s in Ashboro and in Troy. Heading into tomorrow morning, frost and even some possible freeze in some areas are going to be possible. So keep that in mind if any of you are going to be out and about very early in the morning. Certainly going to want a jacket if you uh, plan on taking the dog out for an early morning dog walk. 33 degrees is where we're going to be. 58 by the time we get to lunchtime and then mid 60s for the afternoon. So a little bit warmer, a little bit more comfortable than we were today. I know it was absolutely gorgeous in the sun today, but still a little bit of that slight chill in the air, especially if you are in the shade. So tomorrow going to be a little bit warmer than we were this afternoon. Our nice weather is all thanks to a high pressure system sitting right over over us. If we look out to the west, though, there's this low pressure system bringing some snow to some portions of uh, the Midwest and then even up into the plains as well and also some severe weather. So this is going to be kind of progressing off to the east as we head into Monday. And this warm front is what we're going to be watching to bring us possibly some cloud cover to several places across the country for that eclipse on Monday. What we're hoping for is that that will not happen so that we can watch when the moon moves right in front of the sun and blocks the uh, sun's rays from us. So this is what will happen in totality for us. We're not going to see the moon completely block it. You'll be able to see a partial eclipse about 80% to 85% all the way out into western portions of North Carolina. We've got lots of clear sky all weekend long, but heading into Monday morning, that cloud cover starts to move in. Stray showers can't be ruled out in the morning time, but what looks good for us right now is that once we get to about 2 o'clock, that's when the partial eclipse is going to begin. Once we get to 3 o'clock, we actually start to see a little bit of clearing possible. So 315 is when that partial eclipse will peak for us, and hopefully we'll have some breaks in the clouds for that. The next seven days, though, mostly cloudy skies return on Tuesday with rain chances. Storms are possible Thursday with a cold front.